What's up guys, welcome to Thomas Strombesch, my name is Simon. And today I would like to talk about the offbeat and what a big impact this small change can have on your grooves, the energy and the vibe. And for more lessons like that, feel free to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and leave a comment with what you'd like to learn next. So playing the offbeat is actually pretty easy. You play eighth notes on the hi-hat and every second stroke is an accented stroke, so you always emphasize the ends. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now here's a simple groove, first played as usual without any accents and then with the offbeat accentuation on the hi-hat and later on the right. Man, the difference between the two grooves I think is enormous. The vibe is totally different and I haven't changed much. So let me show you a couple of more examples on how to play and use the offbeat in three different grooves. I know, it takes a little bit of practice, especially when you play something else than the standard orchestration, but I think it's totally worth it and that makes it sound even more interesting, right? And maybe you've seen Groove Hunter episode number 8 with Mike Portnoy's groove from the Liquid Tension Experiment song Passage of Time, because he plays an offbeat groove between a floor tom and a china, which sounds really cool. Alright guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Give it a like. And I'll see you next week Wednesday in another video. Take care, Simon out, bye bye.